This is a tutorial on how to use the Pinying and Zuying Coda pack. This pack allows you to basically convert simplified or traditional Chinese characters into Pinying and Zuying. So if you're practicing Chinese and want to increase your vocabulary, this will be a really good pack to consider using. This pack listing page is right here, so you can install this into your doc or simply just copy this template to start using this pack. In this table right here, I have a bunch of Chinese phrases in traditional Chinese that I want to translate into Pinyin, Zuyin, and also into English using the Google Translate pack. So let's actually start from the end. If you type equals translate, I already installed the Google Translate pack here. You can simply say I want to translate the characters. The target language is going to be English, so it stands for EN. And then the source language, you can scroll down here to see a bunch. Let me scroll down here a little bit. Chinese traditional, hit enter. And then this will just translate the current Chinese characters into English. Now let's start using the actual pack itself. So the first one is writing pinging. There's a few different, there's two different formulas you can use for the pinging pack. I'm just gonna use the pinging pack. I'll oh, sorry, the pinging formula. And the first argument is simply characters. And for most people, I think this will be all you need if you just type in pinging and then the characters column right here. And this will just convert the, these characters into Hi, you pinging. So this, these are just all the pinging for these Chinese characters. So this is pretty much all you might need if you just want basic pinging. There are other options though available for you. So if you put a comma here after characters, the tone type, you can use symbol, number, or none. So by default, the tone type is symbol, but let's say you want to show number. And when this happens, instead of showing you the tones above the words, it gives you the actual number for the tone. This is a different way of viewing your pinging. And then finally, if you really want to practice your pinging, you can just say none here, and then it won't show the tones at all. So usually I just like to keep this as symbol because that's how I read pinging myself. Now the third parameter is the pattern. So what can you, what are some options for the pattern? And if you scroll down here, you can see all the other description of what these optional inputs are. So for the third parameter, you can default this pinging. You can also show just the first initial, last initial, or the tone of the words. Let's say I click on first initial, hit enter, and this will show me the first letter or first few letters of the, of the, of the word. And I forget exactly what this, there's a more technical term for this, but I just call it first initial. And let's, Look at last initial, this will just give you the last few characters for the word, like that. And then also the tone, you can just get the actual tone itself instead of the letters that correspond to the pinging. And that's it. And the remove letters one, that's basically if you happen to have any English letters in your Chinese characters, they'll simply remove those English letters, and I think it's turned on by default. So I think, let's say, let me just say, I want to remove all this, and I say remove letters. Whoops. Remove letters is false. Oh, sorry, I think it's true. And if I happen to put like some random letters here, it will automatically Oh, I think if you put this a false, I think they should remove these letters somehow. Okay, well, this is not exactly working as intended, I guess, but anyways, you can keep these, you can turn this, this setting off for now, but I usually just keep it like this, pinging characters, and then it works out as intended. Oh, this one actually removes the letters here, so if you leave the default, it just removes it. So that's the pinging, and then the zooing is simply zooing. And it only accepts, there's only one argument, which is characters. Or sorry, you'd have to put in the pinging for the words. And this will give you the suing for the pinging in this column. So if you're used to reading this, then the then this is another option for you. 
Now down here, there's another option here. Oops, this was supposed to be over here. This helps you figure out whether or not the pinging that you provide is matching the characters that you provide here. So let's say I want to test myself on whether I can get the pinging for this phrase right here. So I can say, So this will compare this pinging without the tones with the character input here. And this formula should work. Let me just do a quick refresh here really quick. It basically compares the two inputs you provide, the Chinese characters and the input, and it should show you which characters are incorrect. I'm not sure why this is. Maybe if I just take a look at it, maybe I spelled something wrong. Ah, here. That might be it. Okay, so there we go. So if you get anything wrong, it will tell you it, the whole thing goes incorrect. But if you, let's say you omit a word here, let's say I forget the word Jing and then the Lai. Let's say those out. This will say the incorrect characters that you have are one and three. So actually this is zero, one, two, three. So you're missing one and three. And then same here, this is Han. This you can, you can also use the first letter too. Han, you ping, ping, I believe. And this will also give you, if you're trying to test your ping, it'll give you the result here. And this is So just a nice little way to test your pinging skills if you want to test them against the Chinese characters. And that's basically it. A few formulas here. Two packages that I built this pack on are Pinging Pro. So take a look at this and then also doing these two packages basically power this pack and this template. Thank you for using the pinging and zooming pack.